We will now study how to create a Carnot map of four input variables. In the previous video, we saw how to produce a Carnot map for two input variables. We now extend this idea to four input variables. As in the two variable case, the variables are arranged in rows and columns. In the four variable case, the first two inputs A and B are arranged in rows. The remaining two inputs, C and D, are arranged in columns. The rows contain all possible combinations of A and B and their inverses. The columns, all combinations of C and D and their inverses. There are two important features of the arrangements of rows and columns. First, adjacent rows or columns always differ by exactly one change of variable. This is called the adjacency property. The ordering of rows or columns thus obtained is known as a gray code. Hence, the first and second rows differ only by the inversion of B bar to B, and the third and fourth columns from D to D bar. The second important property is that the map wraps around both horizontally and vertically. The map should therefore be thought of as the surface of a sphere. Note that the adjacency property applies to the wraparound. Let's now see how a sum of products expression is represented on a Carnot map. As for the two input case, each product term is represented by a contiguous binary anded grouping, or bag. Each fourth order term, or min term, is represented by a single cell. For instance, the A, B, C bar D term is located at the intersection of the A, B row and the C bar D column. Each third order term is represented by a bag containing two cells. Hence, the A bar B C bag contains the two cells with the inputs A bar B and C. Note that these cells may wrap around horizontally or vertically. Second-order terms are represented by bags containing four cells. These bags may wrap around horizontally, vertically, or, in the case of the B-bar, D-bar bag, both. First-order terms form bags containing eight cells, which again may wrap around. We now generate the Carnot map for a quadrivariate sum of products expression. For the SOP expression, we stuff the bag for each product term with ones. And at the end, fill in the zeros. In the next video, we consider the reverse process, how to extract the SOP expression from a Carnot map.